in the series of interviews where I talked to number of students on how did they pass their ASQ exam. This time I talked to Rice Palaganas. I talked to him about the reason of selecting quality as a career and how he prepared for the CQIA exam. So let's listen to that interview. Welcome to this discussion on ASQ exam preparation courses. Now let's start with a brief introduction. If you want to give something about yourself, what you did and how you became interested in the field of quality and if you can give some brief idea about that. Okay, so I am Rice Palaganas. I'm from the Philippines. I am 23 years old. I am a recent graduate in college of business management. I took interest in the field of quality basically because of my father. My father is a overseas Filipino worker, meaning he is working outside of the Philippines. He worked as a revenue manager and an accountant in AT&T and Lucent Technologies in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. He came into contact with quality basically because his employer required him to take the exam for certified quality auditor. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to pass. So he gave a challenge to me that the demand for quality in the quality field is high and the supply is low. So one thing to differentiate myself from being a business management graduate is to go into specialization, especially in quality. I am a certified Lean Six Sigma Black Belt and a certified quality improvement associate. I accomplished those norms in six months after graduating. That's very, very impressive. Like, <laughs> I've not seen anyone who has done that fast after graduating. That's really impressive. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let, let, let's talk about ASQ exam. So you did uh, ASQ CQIA exam. You passed that exam. I did that basically to test the waters if I can challenge myself to pursue a career in quality because I think a, the CQIA is basically a one of the entry level certifications of ASQ. So I think I should pursue that first. So there are two entry level exams, CQIA and CQPA. Yes. Why did you choose CQIA? If I may I, ask that. Yes, I chose CQIA because I was browsing the the roles and responsibilities of certain jobs here in the Philippines, and they require some jobs require you to be a certified quality improvement associate. Apparently, there are no jobs here in the Philippines that require that a certified. Uh, process analyst basically yeah that, 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 that's good and this, this so how did you find this exam easy difficult or too difficult well that's a very good question at the fir at first since i don't have any peers or anyone to gather basically inside information or tips and know-hows how to pass the cqia I relied on the body of knowledge of ASQ and tried to basically buy the recommended textbooks of ASQ. So you, you said that you took around three months to prepare for this exam and that would have been along with your job? Yes, that is along with my job. So during your evening and weekend and you just took three months and you got this exam done? Yes, sir. That's correct. Yeah, all right. yeah, that's good. Yeah. And what, what did you use for studying? And I think one thing you said was the ASQ handbook. Yes, I uh, I have. Yes, that's correct. The third edition. That's, yeah, that, that, that's the one you, which you used. Okay. And, so and anything I, else? One thing I, yes, sir. I have also with me the quality toolbox. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, at first, the CQI, I didn't utilize all of this, but when it came to Lean Six Sigma, I read all of it already since it 
the body of knowledge requires me to read all of this. I and was it, basically yeah. I was doubting myself if the handbook is already sufficient to basically cover the whole exam by accident by accident and by the by accident i stumbled upon a the quality council of indiana the quality council yes okay yeah so when i took the exam all of the questions that i didn't know basically because it wasn't covered in the handbook the exams were in the CQIA primer. Okay. The answers were in the CQIA primer, yes. So what, what you mean to say is that CQIA primer covers much more than the handbook. And I have also seen that handbook is like a very condensed one. So you really need to know the topic and then only you can just review the book. Because the contents are very condensed here. So if you are new to the field, sometimes it becomes difficult to understand just by reading that portion of the book. Yes, that's correct. Yes, yeah. that's correct. And you are right. Like in the primer, there is much more detail. There is much more background, more explanation. So that helps. Yes. If I were to take the exam again, I would have purchased the book by... Duran, the okay. very expensive book, because mm -hmm. uh, let's say five questions appeared in the exam. Unfortunately, not the the primer nor the handbook covered the answer. Later, I found out that the uh, the book by Duran has the answer in it. That, that's very heavy for an entry level person. There is too much of contents in that and the. Uh... For entry level, probably might be difficult to get a good grasp of that. So, and yes, like you really cannot be hundred percent perfect in these exams. So you have to do your best and uh, see that you pass that. Yes. Uh, also, when I took the CQI exam, probably the best resource for the handbook, the third edition handbook, would be on team management. Most of the questions that appeared in my exam appeared in that book of using teams mm -hmm. on how, to, let's say, forming, norming, storming, right? Yes. So th those those things were from the handbook. Yes. Okay. What what else you want to say to people who want to appear for this exam? I I know this was a good attempt that at a very beginning, at a very early phase of your career, you took this exam and got certified to some ASQ certification. And that's ASQ is a prestigious institution. So having a certificate from them, it is prestigious and definitely it helps you in your job, in your career. So anything you want to recommend to other people or fresh graduates or people who are new to quality? And if you think that this certification has helped you in some way getting better or something. Okay, so I would like to address my fellow Gen Z, my fellow millennials, that if you want to pursue or explore quality, you better do it now. Now is the best time to pursue quality because there is an uncertainty and a, a synergy of artificial intelligence or machine learning and how can it help us discover new quality new quality insights and especially here in the philippines we do not have a course we do not have any form let's say an university formal training on quality so not all students know about quality it yeah yeah, thank, thanks for that. And I think with this, we can conclude our formal discussion on ASQ CQIA exam. Thanks, guys. Thanks for talking to me.